the camp today was fantastic. The kids, uh, it's a lot of fun to be out there with the kids. Was it your idea to be in ice? Did you sign, like volunteer? When you went <laughs> I would have for sure. It was, uh, it was something that uh, was meaningful to me, and it was a great first day to have on uh, the Leafs logo for sure. Still uh, young enough to ask for an autograph? Yeah. I don't know if you're ever, uh, you know, if you're ever too old to ask for that, but uh, it's definitely, it's, it's not a surprise. If I grew up, you know, wanting to play that style, and so it's, it's special to, to be able to be on the ice with him today for sure. Wendell, what do you think of his uh, nickname, Wendell? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. Anytime you can bring energy uh, to the team, it's not just about scoring and everything. It takes a all types of players, so when you can bring different personalities in and lead by example guys and uh, bring energy to the building, that's that's the fun part. David, is this facility a far cry from the ones you uh, you were playing in growing up in, in these parts? You know what, this is a beautiful facility. It's uh, it's impressive to see what the Leafs have done back there in the locker room and uh, you know, I skate at Lakeshore Arena and all the arenas that were around the area, so it's definitely uh, top notch. Uh, what they've done here is, is amazing. David, what's your favorite Wendell Clark memory? Ah, there's, there's a lot, but I, but I think it had to do with either going down the wing with a big shot and scoring, or, or a fight. That was how I, uh, I I love that that style of play or sticking up for a teammate. Those are kind of things that that uh, you know I, I enjoyed watching when I was young. When you were a kid at hockey camps in the summer, were you lucky enough to have NHLers? Yeah, I, yeah, I was. I uh, Shani would kill me for telling you this, but I went to uh, his hockey school at a young age, and he'd always have uh, NHL players come through and uh, and teach us and work with us. So I was very lucky. I, I uh, you know, you got to see how they reacted with the kids, and I was lucky enough to do that. Yeah. And, uh, considering how this city embraced you and really seems to like the style of play that, that you embraced, how do you think David will be received here? Well, I think it's it's great. I think he'll be received well. It, it's uh, and, and another thing, you never, never put one pressure on one guy. It's a, a team thing. As the team comes out and plays uh, the way they start the season, the way they finish the season, uh, all the guys will do well. And Dave come out, play his style, uh, especially at home, at some place where we want to own the home, home ice building. It's our ice. We want to make sure win, lose, or draw. The other team knows they played a road game, and I think his style suits that uh, coming in here because this is a... Uh, this isn't really a road building for a lot of teams with 10 hometown boys usually on every other team. So it's it's good. Uh, it reminds me of uh, a little bit of the, the old days uh, when you're bringing back uh, Dave's personality into here that they're going to play and it's going to be a long night uh, when you're playing against them and that, that bodes well for our team. And you can kind of speak to that. I, when you came into uh, Toronto with the Devils, did you find yourself up in your own game for the home time? Kind of? Yeah, I, I think always when, when I would come back here was something that, uh, you don't want to say, I don't know if your legs feel a little lighter or what it is, but I think uh, it was always special to come home to get the opportunity to play. And, uh, yeah, I, I definitely think that. I think there's a lot of kids around the league that are from here. When they come home, they're, they have that little bit more uh, more bounce in their step for sure. Well, when you watch Dave play, do you, do you see yourself in some of his game? I haven't got that talent. <laughs> But uh, it's, uh, it's something that w what's fun and nice and, and, and good to see is, is brings all parts of the game. It's not a one-dimensional game. It's uh, whatever game you want to play, that's how we'll play it. If it's going to be a physical night, uh, he's there. If it's a part of putting the puck in the net, he's there. If, uh, if it gets even rougher on a different night, home and home against Detroit's coming up. Hopefully the old Friday, Saturdays are coming back. So uh, those are fun rivalries. And, and when uh, Dave can play every part of the game, uh, no matter which way the game goes, and that's that's a good sign because you're, you're you're very usable, and, and no matter how the game goes, uh, you can bring energy to the team. It's a market, guys. It can be a challenge to play. And David, did you get a chance to witness Maple Leaf Square when the team was experiencing success against Boston? And, and I'd have to ask you later on just what it might have been like in the early '90s had uh, we had Maple Leaf Square here back then. But at least the first. Few yeah, days. it shows. It shows the fans here. You know, everyone talks about Leaf Nation. I think it showed right there how supportive this city is and and how hungry they are. And uh, I thought it was fantastic to see all those people outside that building and, and waiting on every every stride or every shot. I thought it was uh, it was amazing.
Would have been nice to have that around Maple Leaf Gardens back in 93 and 4. Well, they just circled the gardens back then, looked at the white roof on the top, but it was... Uh, it's something that it's like I say. It's there's no other city like it. Uh, it was the first time in a long time we were in the playoffs, and you've seen that energy, and it's great to see uh, when the team starts winning. The energy, the the players see what it's like to play in here when you're in the playoffs, and uh, there's no better city to be walking to a rink and postseason play. I don't think there's any place like it, and the fans bring that type of energy and uh, aura around the game. That's that's the part that uh, is the best part is playing in playoffs in Toronto and. And it's a whole new life, no matter how you feel. It's uh, it's like you're you're fresh that night. Dave, what have the last few days been like for you, or weeks since you signed with the Leafs? Have you talked to more of your new teammates or anything like that? Has it sunk in what's actually happened here too? Yeah, you know, I, I've talked to more of the teammates and gotten to know some of the staff. And um, you know, my job's still training, getting ready for what's ahead. I'm not. Uh, Worried about too much else going on, but uh, I think when, when camp starts, I'll get to know everybody more personal. But for now, I've just been doing everyday things I was doing before, working out, getting on the ice, and uh, and getting ready for the season to start. Get noticed a lot, more so than regularly. Um, yeah, I would say a little more than regularly, you know. But uh, it, it's uh, I'm very lucky to do what I do and to have kids recognize it isn't always a, a bad thing. You know, I was them one day, so I uh, I don't mind that at all. No, oh, I'm not sure yet. I think uh, the next couple of days here we'll figure that out, but I'm not sure what I'm doing about yet. Is 17 in the equation? No, no, no. It's uh, <laughs> that's not uh, not in the equation. It's uh, couldn't do that. I, I couldn't live up to uh, what he had done, and it was uh, to me it was a, a childhood thing. But uh, but no, that's not in the equation. Remember the first time you saw him play? What's your first first memory of Wendell? I don't know. I, like I said, it would have to be, I think, skating down the wing with a big slap shot and a goal. or It was just memories of that as a kid of always remembering how hard he played. And, and uh, he played that way every night. And that's what impressed me at a young age. Have you met him before today? Yep. Yeah, I had met him a couple of years ago, uh, just at different events. But, uh, yeah. Did you get his autograph as a kid? <laughs> I would have to say I do have that at home. Yeah, an autograph on him when I was young.